it's pretty impressive when you see an adult Chinook swim by and all of a sudden, I mean, there's fish taking up your entire field of view. I am currently working with the SCA as a um, Columbia Habitat Monitoring intern. The main goal is to see how the salmon habitat's changing over time, the numbers of fish in the area, and to see if there's anything we could do to better protect the uh, salmonids. The Oregon Department of Fish and Wildlife's component of the CHAMP program, which is the Columbia Habitat Monitoring Program, which has been sponsored by Bonneville Power Administration. They are looking at effects on inland fishes. So we can see what it looks like at low flows, we can look at it at high flows, and how the habitat changes with those different flow regimes. The interns we're working with here were funded through a Reclamation Youth Employment Grant that brings non-federal partners together with qualified students to make this type of work possible. Reclamation gets great benefit from the CHAMP program and the interns and the data collected. It, it allows us to analyze all that data working with those folks and to provide the right kind of habitat in the right place in the river to benefit the fish to the greatest degree. So we've been out here at the different uh, streams and rivers doing habitat surveys and uh, try to detect the changes going on in the stream bed morphology. They are mapping the stream. They'll take that data back to the office and in the GIS environment, create a three-dimensional image of the site that they've been working on. And that's actually really one of the neat gee whiz moments in our surveying because it gives you a three-dimensional representation where before the old stick and tape method was only a transect base. I feel like I've definitely learned a lot when we go back into the office to process and use GIS. I think that's one of the more important things I've learned because it's a really useful skill that I know a lot of people are looking for, so. This is not normal office work. And I think the more they work outside, the less they want to be in the office, too. <laughs> The glamour in fish work is actually doing the snorkel surveys. I mean, we have gone out snorkeling a few times, and it's great, it's fun. That is to get a rough estimate of how many fish are living in the stream at that year. It's not snorkeling like most people would think, you know, diving with flippers, you're kind of army crawling just with a face mask on. What do you have over there? We were looking for someone who is good at data collection, attention to detail, and that they're hardy and can work outside all day. It was a good step in the right direction with um, fishery science. It's a good way to get your, uh, your first taste of what some real field work's like. Just being able to spend a summer outdoors in a beautiful place, doing research that not a lot of people ever get to do, that I think will really make a difference to salmon restoration projects. 